The ocean is churning, continuing to pound the coast, weakening already weakened seawalls and causing further erosion. Another nor'easter is on the horizon. As crews scramble to repair damage from last weekend's. They're working as quickly as they can and with, with the material that they have. Up and down Route 1A, state crews have been trying to build seawalls back up, in some cases for a fifth or sixth time. On the west side of Route 1A, we have a lot of shoulder drop-offs where when the waves came over, it just washed out the road. So we're trying to repair that as well to make that as safe as possible. Officials say tides are supposed to be back to normal tomorrow, but with the wind and storm surge, they still expect issues. And each of these tides seems to be above what we're seeing for prediction. So add that with the snow factor clogging up drains, we anticipate we're going to have some flooding down here again. Road closures are again expected. Towns have been in contact with Homeland Security, its spokesperson voicing concerns. Even in an area that was repaired or was cleared of debris, as there's splash, expected splash over tomorrow, additional debris or additional damage may occur, but now it will be snow covered. So before tomorrow, we have to have this buttoned up as best as we can before we have to put the plows and the spreaders back on our trucks and plow snow. Officials say they expect the worst of the impact of this storm to hit here on the coast between 7 tomorrow night and 7 Thursday morning. And as usual, they're asking anyone to stay away from any roads that are closed. Reporting live here in Hampton, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.